boys and girls, it's early. IKEA bag at the ready. Let's hit the car boot. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Saturday car boot. Hopefully we can find stuff to flip online on eBay for a profit. So follow me, going around this car boot, see what we pick up and see what we, uh, yeah, see what we find. There's literally like tons and tons and tons of wrestlers. <laughs> How much got it was? 25. 50p for this. Absolute bargain. And it's the first buy of the day. You want these ones? Uh, I've got them Are they all sort of similar? Um, you said fives, yeah? Fours and fives, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, fours and fives. They're all mine. Yeah. Um, I've won a tenner for those ones. They're knee length. These ones? Oh, these ones, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, you know, it's yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, I do a fiver a pair on those ones. How much on these ones? Uh, I do a fiver on these. Yeah. Vintage ones. I'll take these ones for a fiver. Thank you. Are these sort of prices on these? Yeah, yeah. 15, I think. Two pound on three pairs of DMs. One of them's listed for about 120. So, yeah, definitely happy with that. Absolute jackpot. What's this one? Three quid. Three. I did plug it in and it does seem to work. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take that. There's a pound. One pound. Yeah. Happy days. How much got these? Three. I'll take them, please. Excuse me, how much got boots? I've got to ask minimum of 50 quid on there. 50? You've got your boots, mate. These ones here, bud. Three quid, mate. Three. Yeah, I'll take them, mate. Three quid. Bargain. 25 for two, yeah? Yeah, if I do five pound less, yeah. thirty pound twenty five, all right? Yeah, yeah. Because two people business buy lot, lot. Yeah, yeah. Only yeah, yeah. Definitely looking like quality over quantity today. This is probably the buy of the day. They're not in perfect condition, but we've got eight pairs of Altbergs. And if you know what Altbergs are, then amazing if you don't they are boots that the army were issued back in the day uh so they do hold a decent amount of value we paid 30 pound for eight pairs they're all the same model which is the defender and some are gore-tex like so and um, some are just normal regular ones but eight pairs for 30 quid yes please overall an absolute carload of stock well all we gotta do is sell them on ebay it's a bad warning indeed and yeah i'm aware that my car does need it all righty then we're now back home and we're gonna go through the haul i must admit it was about two weeks ago that we filmed at the car boot so we are a little bit far behind in terms of getting this video out however we spent about 225 pound, 220 quid there or thereabouts. And we've got some nice bits to show you. So without further ado, I'm gonna spin the camera around and I'm gonna go through everything we picked up, how much we paid for it, ish, and uh, how much we can get back on eBay. Here we go, we're gonna go super duper fast. We've got this JVC wireless soundbar paid three pound, should be able to get 30 quid. It also comes with a Maplin. Who remembers Maplin? I don't even think Maplin exists anymore. Optical cable. Uh, tested and working, happy days, 30 quid. Next up, we have Rosie from Rosie and Jim. Unfortunately, Jim is missing, uh, but paid a pound, should be able to get about 20 quid back from her. Not bad. We then paid seven pound for this Panasonic SAE98. No, E99, it's a DAB broadcasting MP3 CD visualizer look at that with an aerial as well tested and fully working paid seven pounds really nice condition really good sound as well should be able to get about 40 pound back from on the old ebay and thank god it works like i said from ages and ages ago only be prepared to pick up electronics at sort of broken prices which will lead me nicely onto what I'm about to show next. This is the thing I'm going to show you next because this does not work. However, you may have seen me in the field picking this up for 50 pennies. 50 Great British Pennies. Panasonic SAPT470. This does not work, unfortunately. Um, if it did, it was worth about 35 to 40 quid, but it doesn't, so you should be able to get at least 10 to 15 pound back from that. We then have a Philips Blu-ray player. 
Um, tested and working. This is the BDP 3000. We do really well with Blu-ray players. They are decent little money makers, to be honest. So definitely be on the lookout for Blu-ray players. If they've got the remote, adds value, obviously. This unfortunately doesn't have the remote, but it has its power, which is nice. And we can test it straight away, which we have all tested and thoroughly fully working. Should be able to get about 30 quid. And I think we paid three or four quid. So not too shibby shabby. A Nintendo Wii, this is unit only, paid three quid, um, so can't grumble. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a game inside. That has got to be one of the most satisfying things as a reseller when you're buying a Nintendo Wii, if there's a secret game inside. Unfortunately, it doesn't. However, we'll bundle this up with six games and obviously the power and all that good stuff and aim for about 38 quid. So Wiis still hold really good value. Um, and definitely not to be sort of sniffed at because nine times out of ten they do have a game it's normally Wii Sports or the odd Mario Party or Mario Kart um, and they will still have very very good value did you know Wii Sports is in the top five best selling games of all time so hey the more you know we then have this horse it's a Schleich horse I believe yes paid 50p should be an easy tenor all day long. So definitely be on the lookout for Schleich stuff. Uh, some of the dragons can go for an incredible amount of money. The horse, about £10. These boots are not made for walking. They are made for rollerblading, roller skating, all that good stuff. A pair of Salomon rollerblades. Um, not much to say about these. Overs of quid. They have seen better days. They are sort of like scuffed here, there and everywhere. But for a pound, we had to say yes. Absolute bargain. They are UK size 8, carbon fibre trim. Pretty good, to be fair. All wheels are pretty good condition. Uh, just sort of the face of the actual boot itself has seen better days. Should be able to get 30 quid, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Moving on to the tower of boxed shoes. We have five boxed shoes here. Paid a couple of quid, some from really nice sort of ankle brogue Jones boot makers. I know James loves a bit of Jones sort of brothers boot makers. Um, picked that up for him. Uh, resale value is probably like 25, 30 quid. So yeah, for a couple of quid into 30 all day long. We then have a nice pair of Ugg sandals, brand spanking new. Probably will be lofted now. Um, because it is now sort of coming into September time. We're in Q3 nearly, which is crazy to think. Um, it only felt like yesterday we are in Q2. Uh, beautiful thing about these Uggs is it tells you exactly the size and the model number. These are the Harlow Leopard sandals. Like I said, probably one now for either the summer or maybe we will list it now and sort of aim for that Christmas present vibe sort of thing. Should be about 35, 40 quid. We then have a pair of Chorus Voice Clark heels. Again, not new. I thought they were new, but they're not. They haven't been used very much at all. Um, should be at least 25 quid all day long. Nice sort of suede orange. We then have a pair of wrapped hotter shoes. Uh, these are brand new. They've even got sort of that inside it. Really nice red suede. I say nice, but it's not really my cup of tea, these pair of trainers, if I'm being brutally honest. Don't think I'd suit them. They are pretty soft though. Uh, get good Again, a good thing about Hotters is they do actually tell you the model number on the shoe and on the box. So yeah, easily identifiable. Just bang that on eBay and you'll get soles of about 30 quid. And the last pair of boxed shoes, we have a pair of Misuno Wave Sky Rises. Beautiful pair of shoes, paid £5. Look at them, it's beautiful. They have obviously been worn, but not uh, anything too serious. Should be able to clean up pretty nice, UK size 7. And again, should be able to get about 30 to £35 for them. Now we're going to the main part of the video, which is going to be all the trainers that we picked up from today's car boots. So we're going to lay them out on the table and show exactly what we picked up and how much we're going to get back on eBay for these used pair of shoes. Here we have it, the first table lot worth of shoes. There is some really nice pairs of shoes. As you can probably see, there's a few DMs lurking around here. We spent about 80 to 90 pound on everything on this table and we should be able to get about 660-ish back, there or thereabouts. 
but let me talk through a few of them. So we do have three pairs of Airways, DMs, whatever you want to call them. These two here, probably looking at about £100 each. Um, they have the model number inside. They are really cool. Like, look at them. Nice ox blood heel, really heavy piece of gear. Uh, we've got some nice sort of standard DMs for like men. And then we've got, again, another pair of these sort of DMs. Look at them. Absolutely stunning. They are probably, again, £100. We've got a pair of brand new feelers. They should be about 30, some Hotters, Clarks, some really nice Echo. Look at these, Echo MXs. Look at that tread. Beautiful piece of kit. Again, should be like 40, 45 quid. Some Clarks, some Adidas, some Skechers, some Clarks, some Skechers. These are really nice, Solivair from the same factory as DMs, just that have traded under a different name made in England. They don't even look like they've been worn. Um, they are more sort of designed for workwear and all that good stuff. So they'll sell really nicely. Should be able to get at least 50 quid. And probably the creme de la creme are these Dolce & Gabbana shoes. We do seem to think that they are real. They're in really good quality and the stitching is unbelievable. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Found the exact same pair on eBay, sell for 150 quid. Um, obviously, we're going to do a bit more research when it comes to legitimacy but they do seem to be quite good indeed. Should be able to get, obviously if real, 150 quid back from them. But yeah, look at that for a table worth of goodies. And to finish off today's haul, we picked up eight pairs of sort of Altbergs and Yaturi. There's one Yaturi and seven Altbergs for a whopping 35 quid. Only gonna show three of them on the table because the other five are in the car. And it doesn't make sense bringing all five because they are all very, very, very similar. They are the Altberg Defenders. And then we have the sort of Yaturi boots, wet weather, cold ones. Look at that. Date of birth, 2018. Interesting. Um, Altbergs are a phenomenal brand, definitely to be on the lookout for. Um, these are just standard ones. They obviously have been worn, obviously. But for £35 for eight of them, it was an absolute no Brain at all different shapes, sizes, um, all Defender models though. So it should be nice, easy listing. Should be able to get like 35 to 45, maybe even a little bit more each on each singular one. So when you're presented with eight for 35, it's an absolute no brainer. We've got about 300 pounds worth of Altbergs to list, which is incredible. And there we have it ladies and gentlemen thank you all so much for watching if you did enjoy that video please smash that like button subscribe if you're new around here and we better get some of this stuff listed because as of time recording of this video it's only 14 days until we go to our america yearly trip so we need some more spending money to fund that trip so we're going to get some of this listed now so thank you guys for watching hope you did enjoy it and i'll see you beautiful lot in the next one fish bash flipping 